Hi there, welcome to Muslim Farmville, where you can find a spirituality, sustainable, and a slow living lifestyle. This video is special today. I will be in the kitchen with my daughter and we will be spending time together. Come along. We wrote down the few things that we are going to make today. One of them is bone broth. I have a dish that has been sitting in the fridge the last three days with some chicken bones. Let's do first the bone broth. Remove that dish out of the fridge. Celery, carrots, spices, vinegar, and water. In, into the instant pot. Let it simmer overnight. We have a guest coming tomorrow. So I'm teaching my daughter to prepare and plan before the guest. Let's get this empty dish and salt. We are making fruit pizza today. So she's getting maple syrup and coconut oil. I'm trying to do my best not to hover over her and let her take over the kitchen. So she's got the coconut oil and we are using some duck eggs. I asked my daughter if she wanted to do like her ancestors. She said yes, using a spoon. So we mix the uh, vanilla, salt, cinnamon, duck eggs, maple syrup, and the coconut oil. We are making a dough. And our flour is almond flour, high protein. I said shakshak. This means sift it. I'm making a tea for us. While the dough bakes, I want to teach her to slow it down and to uh, take a break. Us moms, all we do is we give and give. So today's gift of giving, gift of giving to my daughter is to teach her to clean after herself in the station that she used. Make the filling cream cheese. Use the same dish. We have pineapple, raspberry, blueberries, and strawberries to dress the fruit pizza. So I'm showing her right now how I cut my strawberries. So I said, go ahead, you cut it. So she will take her turn and cut the way she wants. We need to let our children explore and do the things they want to do the way they do it. So she's laughing. I'm shaking her hand. I said, the kitchen is yours today. <laughs> so we have to let them explore and express themselves while they are in the kitchen. So she chopped the strawberries. Everything is ready for the fruit pizza. I'm just going to go ahead and get set up some tea time for her and myself. In a day or so, it will be a Mother's Day. So my Mother's Day gift is giving my daughter to teach her what she can take it to her home. So I set up the tea. She, we made a chocolate cake. The day before is high protein, low carb cake. She's serving us and we'll put mine heavy whipped cream homemade. And I'm talking to her about to space herself, to slow it down to take time for herself, break time. The mother is the first teacher for the children. So we must teach our daughters and our sons to also slow it down, to take a break, to do some self-care. Next now, since the pizza dough is baking, we will go ahead. Tomorrow we want to make some lemonade for our guests. So if you are afraid of your children to uh, use the oven, that part of baking things, do it for them. If you don't want to use them using the knife, you go ahead and cut lemons and things that needs to be cut while they are little. So now she's going to go ahead and squeeze the lemons so we can have this lemon juice ready tomorrow. At some point, she said, Mama, this little strainer is not working. So let the children express themselves. Let them share with you what works and what's not working. As you can see, this is not working. So I brought the big sifter. 
that takes just a few seconds and that's really it we're just gonna go ahead and put the lemons lemon juice into a mason jar and put it into the fridge and I'll share it with you tomorrow how we make our lemonade homemade lemonade another dish that we want to put it together today is that we have these mushrooms that we need to use it right away so she will go ahead and stuff it with cream cheese and we will bake it tomorrow so if you stay at the end of the video i'll share that with you my husband was in the field with the boys and found some morels these are an amazing delicious mushrooms but we will put them into the fridge and use it a different day because right now we need to use what we have and these needs to be used right away so they don't go to waste we'll put them into the fridge bake it tomorrow they are delicious the pizza dough cooled down the cream cheese filling is ready I'm not gonna hover over her and design it I'm just gonna let her do it because certain things when the children can do you take a break you give them the space that they need let them make a mistakes as we make mistakes and we learn from it every day should be a mother's day for moms heaven lays under the feet of all mothers so now she's done and designed it the way she likes it's gonna go into the fridge and let it sit for tomorrow and I'll show you when we cut it tomorrow my son wanted to make the crackers so we are using as you can see almond flour we ground our flax and some flower seed and we are putting a little bit of avocado oil water and Italian spices salt and pepper when the children see another child making something and having a good time in the kitchen they also want to do something so this is my son he's making homemade crackers that's bagel seasoning and he's just gonna cut it they love children love hands on L invite them into the kitchen boys and girls need to learn how to cook their own food and they would also know that what they put into their food it's healthier for them so now Sam is gonna cut it and bake it tomorrow we will use these crackers with guacamole we will make avocados tomorrow chop them and use it dipping it with guacamole so it's going to be delicious so now he will go ahead and slice it and straight into the oven the girls also need to learn if they grow up how to check their oils in the car check their tires the fluid in their car the boys need to learn how to clean toilets too the crackers are all done so tonight we were getting it out of the way these things so tomorrow we have some energy to visit our friends it became 32 ounce and a half cheap way to feed family and a healthy way homemade foods farm to table we believe simple eating as Sam went outside after getting it done those crackers and just enjoying himself in the spring and cutting the grass the girls also need to cut the grass they need to learn everything their daily living and life will be easier and smooth for them here we are the next day my husband is straining the bone broth for a different day use you all I was able to put a clean dress on since our guests are coming I am not wearing my farm clothes and I will go ahead and make the guacamole and the leftover lemons as well I love making guacamole because it's cheaper it will last a couple of days 
and we only add few little things that make it delicious here are the leftover bones and veggies that will go to the chickens the ducks the fat from the chicken bones will go to the dogs as well women who plan to get pregnant they need folate and avocados are full of folate good healthy fats good fiber so avocados has a lot of nutrition so I do my best to add into my diet and my family's diet as well and the way I make my own avocados I use a lot of lemons then the avocado does not get darker and also I'll share it with you a little secret at the end of we avocado mix after we mix it I'll show you one of the ways that the guacamole will stay fresh as well we also add with our guacamole fresh cilantro fresh garlic I don't buy garlic paste and all of that I like things to be fresh or I dehydrate myself so loads and loads of cilantro lots of lemons all of that mixed together some salt and pepper that's it you all you can also add if you want a little bit of jalapenos or onions or tomatoes whatever you like black pepper and that's it and then the secret is I mix together and I put the seed from the avocado and it keeps it away getting dark you know there straight into the fridge and we clean right after time to make the lemonade homemade lemonade we don't use sugar we go ahead and put some honey warm water mixed together here's the fresh lemon juice from last night water I am smiling you all because most of the hard work we did it yesterday today is just putting it together and some ice and we plan to eat outside since it's spring Sam cut the grass everything is fresh outside so I'll get just a few little cups and we will set it outside table when we make our own lemonade we know what's in there it's healthier set a couple of cups and the children will help me carry it bone broth is cooling down the crackers everything has to go outside I have found this basket we also chopped some celery carrots and cucumbers for snacking with the uh, guacamole if somebody doesn't want the crackers which my family loves it doesn't last that long couple of dishes for the guacamole and some napkins also we're gonna slice our own cheese we try to buy hard block of cheese so we can cut it ourselves everything is going outside my husband is gonna teach one of the children how to grill and to make sure they stay safe even though we want the children to be independent we have to protect them I'm outside sitting having my homemade vinegar water this is the mushrooms and now my kitchen is clean everything came together so the gift of giving Mother's Day was to teach my daughter everything ended up looking good and I will share it with you the dessert if you haven't subscribed to please subscribe to a farm symbol living and give the videos thumbs up and have a beautiful blessed day let's continue teaching our children since we are their first teachers and let's give them the space that they need to grow and whenever they make mistakes and we make mistakes we are patient with ourselves. Salam alaikum.